Rise and grind gamers, it's your boy, the 21st century schizoid man, Stubbs, I assure you, I am not Windigoon. And I'm here with my good friends Alcohol and Motorola cell phone, taped to a gun tripod. I've been coerced, gaslit, into making a video explaining what the actual hell this thing right here is. Now this is not loaded, I'm still going to keep my trigger finger right here, just for the funnies. This is an F5 Products Can Cannon upper receiver on a bullpup lower receiver. Now the first thing you need to know is the Can Cannon comes with the barrel just assembled hand tight from the factory. It's all it needs. And this is what it looks like on the inside. That'll hold zero. If it doesn't look like that on the inside, uh, the ATF's going to come fight with you about it. This guy right here does not have the hole in the end. Got a couple holes around the circumference of it that allow gas to flow from a 556 blank into this here chamber. And this is your barrel. What this means is you can set a soda can or anything the same diameter into this chamber here. Load up one 556 blank as spicy as you want it and send something into orbit. Realistic range, maybe about uh, 200 yards for some of the attachments. Now, this one also comes with the optional 40 millimeter barrel, and we don't need that right now. I've got it set up with a rail on the top for some optics for a rough approximation of impact, as that is uh, not going to remain particularly accurate. Now, what I really want to show off here, and I don't have the bolt in here, just how the uh, fire control group works, is I have a trigger with a spring to return it. I have a transfer bar. This is a piece of coat hanger wire for those interested. Touches the trigger right here. Exposed a little bit. No uh, safety or any of the fun stuff on here. Bolt action, why not? Which means I can take a uh, side charging upper or a standard charging handle. I can just stick my finger in the back of here. I 3D printed something to go in the back initially and I decided that I uh, didn't like it. So I just rack one in here. Shoulder it and fire. Kaboom, kablam. Soda can down range. I want to say uh, Flaming Hot Mountain Dew has been the funniest one by far. Available for a limited time only. Now, to make this, you're going to need some M5 bolts, just where pieces have to be joined like so. Pieces are tapped into other pieces. All of this is printed. Uh, in the best orientation possible and then held together by said bolts some quarter inch pins your minecraft sheep is not included in that but uh, that is not necessary for it to function and then you've got yourself one assembled can cannon now that's not where it ends i originally had designed this to be a bullpup low receiver for a 50 bmg upper receiver that was commercially available, it is not anymore. And I came back to it, I added a magazine well, and I found something ridiculous to put on it. Now, in other news, I have a little fun announcement to make here, is I finally found, oh, what's that? Another 50 BMG upper receiver to add. This is uh, not loaded. It could be. So I've got my uh, 50 BMG APIT right there and we're going to adapt this back into a 50 bmg bullpup i'm going to move the shoulder rest substantially forward take a tiny rail right here in this nice little foregrip some kind of attachment for an optic that reaches around here all funny and we're going to have us a uh well something like an m82 a2 which was my original goal that's why the grips look like this, for example, is uh, directly ripped off the M82A2. Now, if you Google that, you're going to find a picture of a man having the most fun a man has ever had. It's probably engaging an imaginary helicopter or something. But uh, in the meantime, you can have this. I'll get around to this whenever the hell I feel like it. And uh, in the meantime, uh, stay roided, stay noited. And uh, keep a loaded gun next to you, no matter what the hell you're doing. Just for fun. You never know when you'll need it. 